questions about life in other forms, spirits, ghosts and even demons. Well, you're not alone. I'm here to tell you that we are just like you. During the day we speak our normal to seem normal, but at night, we are so far from it. For we are the portals of the natural, unnatural. For we are the nation's biggest source for all things unexplained, mysteries, unsolved, and topics unspoken. For we are the insanely insane. You are now listening to a more music entertainment production. Insanely insane by more music and nasty. Trench coat sprinter. This must have been around 8th grade. It was late at night and I was bored as hell. It gets really hot in the desert. Even at night, I decided to go on a walk. As usual, the roads were very empty. Not uncommon for a small town. Ran shorts and a tank top. I was still sweating at 11.30 at night. The pavement radiated the heat it had absorbed from the sun. I could feel it through my flip-flops. The air was dead still which was disappointing. The plan was to head to the neighborhood park. Because it had grass that was watered at night and generally provided some relief from the heat. I only made it a few blocks before I saw him. Quite a bit down the road there was a hungry tall minimum 7 foot guy walking towards me on the same side of the road. He was on the wrong side technically and his gait out a little so I crossed to the side of the street as we both continued to walk towards each other on opposite sides of the road I noticed he was wearing a trench coat a full length heavy ass trench coat in a hundred degree midnight heat we pass under a street lamp at the same time and make eye contact mistake he immediately starts running at me diagonally across the street full tilt he crossed half the blacktop in two seconds. Oh shit, I bolted. I could hear his motorcycle boots pounding on the pavement behind me. I could hear his leather trench coat swishing. Luckily, I was a pretty fast runner as a kid, but one of my flip-flops broke. I tripped but didn't fall. I heard his breath catch. He was close as hell. Lost the other flip-flop and, lost the other flip-flop and kept straight on running over rocks and broken glass to get home. As I ran at the corner to my house, I could no longer hear his stomping. He had crapped out. With bloody feet, I flew up to the staircase and locked the door. Home alone, I turned the TV on and hid in the back bedroom. That was a story by Pad Tai 97 on Reddit.